everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, I have just finished my first workout of the day. Um, and here I am with little man. We've just been getting our water in for the day, haven't we? Yeah, you drinking out of that cup even though you have just accidentally tipped it up and spilt it out. We've got as much in Starbucks cups, haven't we? <laughs> You're enjoying it. I think he's just enjoying playing with the straw more than anything, aren't you? Yeah? And you was doing mummy's workout with it, weren't you? Bless him. Um, obviously, this um, like 12 week plan I've, I've signed up to like for these 15 minute workouts. Um, <clears throat> I've done it so I can do it at home with Jesse. Um, so he's obviously watching me whilst I'm doing it. And I was doing the squats, bless him. And it was bending with me, we were bending his little legs. And it broke my heart, bless him. He's so cute. Um, so it's, I'm starting the vlog a little bit later than I usually would. It's 20 to 12 at the minute. We've been up since about 8 o'clock. Jesse slept well. He was just so fidgety in the night. And I thought I would ask if anyone else's babies are exactly the same. And it's not just like a little move here and there, it's like constantly moving in the night non-stop last night was the worst it's been um i had a look online i know you probably shouldn't look online because it makes you feel like you're a bad mum but it said it's something to do with the sleep hygiene or something and whether they're in a good routine or not and obviously we haven't got the best routine at the minute because he came out of it for a while uh, so i don't know if it's anything to do with that or if he was uncomfortable i've no idea um but i think jimmy mentioned about taking the side off the cot tonight um it depends how he feels when he's home from work obviously um but at the minute we've got all the christmas decorations in jesse's room so they need to go up into the attic first before we take the side of his cot off and then hopefully he'll go back in his cot won't you hey how, what do you think about that are you waving to everybody can you say morning no you can't say morning just yet <laughs> can you? you can wave though with a nice smile that's good enough isn't it oh that's a lovely pause <laughs> He's had breakfast, he had his usual blueberries. Uh, my arm's killing because I ain't got the tripod, uh, the tripod on the camera and I've just done my workout. So yeah, I've done it early today because um, in about an hour, um, we're gonna go on a walk to the park, which is 10 minutes away. And do you know what, I'm kicking myself, I know I shouldn't, but I'm just like, why do I not go and do these walks like even once a week? The park's literally 10 minutes away. Um, and it's very rare that we go actually um, you know it's at the top of the street <laughs> up a massive hill which is going to get me working obviously um, and obviously Jesse's going to benefit from it too so we're going to go on a walk in about an hour I'm hoping he can go for a nap first so that he can enjoy the walk as well um, but I have a feeling you know he's not going to nap and that he's just going to sleep the whole duration of the walk um, and when we get to the park so I would like him to have a little bit of a run around yeah to try and tie you out a little bit although you've not been bad the past few nights going to bed at seven eight that's been good ain't it you're waving again <laughs> that's nice i am absolutely boiling i am so warm i need to do my skincare my eye bags are looking um not the best at the minute <laughs> but that's all we've got planned for today um i'm gonna have some dinner first as well before we leave so i've got the energy to go walk up that massive hill with the pram and um, it's also about time we've got a stroller to be honest because jesse doesn't really fit into that pram anymore i always get questions about the pram that we've got um it's still the travel system from when Jesse was newborn. Um, obviously with the, not with the newborn attachment. Um, not with the caricot, I mean. So yeah, his head is like touching the top of it now. So I think it's about time he comes out of that. So I need to start thinking about getting a new pram. But if you are interested in the pram, it is the Venice um, Tinum 2.0. And I can't remember what the colour is called, but it's like a beige nude. And everyone told me that it would get ruined, it'd get wrecked. Um, and you know what, it doesn't even look bad, honestly, that it doesn't even look bad, there's barely any marks on it, um, just usual wear and tear of the pram really, but it's not like really horrible, so if everyone's telling you not to get a beige pram, just go and do it like I did, <laughs> because ours isn't even that bad to be honest, and you know, it, it gets pushed about, it gets thrown into the back of the car, so yeah but something else i'm trying i'm finding really motivating in the morning um you know usually i get up i put my loungewear on which is totally fine and i'm definitely still going to be doing that but you know when i've got plans for the day um i usually get up put loungewear on and then i'm like i can't be bothered to go and get us both dressed so in the morning now i'm getting up getting myself dressed straight away and getting Jesse dressed straight away um on days we're not doing anything i'm definitely just going to stick in my loungewear because you know what i'm like i love chilling all day in my loungewear um 
but yeah today because I knew we were going on the walk I thought to push myself even more to make sure I go on the walk I'm gonna get myself dressed so that's exactly what I've done so this morning we've had Sophie and Dave on I've not watched them in so long and they recently uploaded their um, Florida Disneyland trip so I'm just watching them at the minute just on in the background whilst I was doing my workout <laughs> and yeah and we're gonna have a good day Jessie say yes mum gonna have a good day can you go yay are you just waving again <laughs> good boy are we gonna have nap time so then we can go on a nice walk and you can go to the park then can't you and go on the swings yeah what do you think about that everyone just started our walk probably about one minute in and I'm finding it hard already this hill is a monster with a pram I'm so out of breath but I'm pushing through <sighs> because I'm determined to get more fit and do this more every week so Jess is laughing at me so you can hear how out of breath I am you would honestly think I've like ran a marathon with how out of breath I feel and how just generally unfit I feel. My legs are aching. I'm sweating already, I feel boiling. I'm so out of breath. But I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it because I want to be more active. So yeah, Jessie didn't go for a nap. Um, and I wanted to come out before school finished because the park tends to get super busy when school finishes. So I had my dinner and just brought him out and he'll probably just nap. If he doesn't, then great. He can go on to the park. But if he does, it doesn't matter. We made it. And guess who fell asleep? This little one. <laughs> I knew he would because he was so tired. So peaceful, so lovely. Um, so I think I'm just gonna take a walk down to the park anyway. Maybe sit down and get a coffee whilst he's asleep. Get a water or something, because I need to start drinking my water as well. But yeah, I definitely feel better for it. Although in the moment I'm like, I think I'm gonna pass out. Um, <laughs> I think we might try somewhere different tomorrow, somewhere we've never been before. And yeah. So mum woke up whilst mummy was having a coffee. So we've come to the park, haven't we? Yeah, you're going the wrong way though. The park's over here, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse. Jesse. Look, can you see this? Jesse. Can you see the park? You just want that tractor instead, don't you? Is that what you want, Tim? <laughs> Jesse. Come on. <laughs> well done. <laughs> we need to lift that hat up. <laughs> He's not actually bothered about the park. He's just he's just wanting to roam about, aren't you? Oh, you're taking it off now. Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, you need to leave that on, Jessica, because it's quite cold. Oh, it's a mess now. <laughs> he's just toddling away. Just let him let him have a bit of a run about. Tire him out. Jesse! <laughs> Come on, little boy. <laughs> he likes this one, don't you, Jesse? Hey? Pushing it, but you don't like the pushing, you just like to step on it, don't you? Yeah, shall we move you around? Woohoo! Yay! No, you don't like that one? Okay, <laughs> oh, let's see. What are you doing? You're just walking on and off? Wow! <laughs> okay, that didn't end too well. <laughs> um, he tripped over and bust his lip. So um, he wasn't happy, bless him. Felt so bad for him. So we're just gonna make our way home now. He's absolutely fine now, aren't you? Hey, just got a little bit upset, didn't we? Well, that's absolutely fine, because you hurt yourself, didn't you? Um, I think he was just excited. He tripped up and mashed his like, lip on the seat of that roundabout thing. Um, 
but he's okay, he's absolutely fine. It wasn't bad, it only bled a tiny little bit. So I'm gonna make the journey home now. Um, and yeah, I think he's tired as well. He didn't have like a proper long nap and it's freezing too. So, you know, when you're tired, cold and you've hurt yourself, it's not a good mix. <laughs> Good morning everybody, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Saturday and we are just getting ready to go into town to meet my mum and dad. We're going to have some dinner and just have a look around the shops I think. Uh, Jimmy's just fixing this on the stairs aren't you? Yeah. Because who pulled it off? No, it just fell off. <laughs> it didn't just fall off it Jimmy. Did, it didn't. It fell off. <laughs> oh my goodness. He is little boy this morning in his gorgeous jumper. Shall we show them your jumper? Let's just wait for dad to finish. Let's see? Have you done right, it? Right, new, yeah. All right, Jesse's jumper, look at that. How gorgeous is your jumper, little boy? It says your name on it. Oh, um, this is from Sunflower Stitches on Instagram. I'll leave their Instagram handle down below, but they also did Heidi one um, for Matilda's little girl, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So thank you so, so much. Um, it looks also, so cute in it. we're doing a giveaway it. this week for a Fitbit uh, scale. <laughs> no, we're not doing a giveaway. Here we are. Giveaway. Fitbit. <laughs> scale. Tronicness. <laughs> right. And some anyway, Jimmy, look at the mess in here because we haven't taken the Christmas decorations. Sorry, right, Liv, I'll clean it up. <laughs> That's Jesse's cleaning stuff. Yeah, we've still not taken the Christmas decorations up to the loft. That Christmas tree's still up over oh, there, man. so we need to sort that out, Jimmy. <laughs> Absolutely mental. On, I know man. where Jesse gets his craziness from. Come on, are we going? <laughs> you know what it is, right? What? It's the mashed oh, grass. Careful, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what a start let's to the go, vlog. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Jesse, your dad is mental and's um, a bit tired, I think, aren't you? Hey, <laughs> you do my head in. Come on. Right, we don't need to go yet. I want to go shopping. I want to go shopping. I've got a TK Maxx voucher and a Boots voucher and some Next vouchers. Um, so I think we'll make use of those. Have a look what's in the shops. My hair isn't in the best state. I'm uh, in for it doing, in for it dyed next month. But you can see my roots a little bit and it's it needs a wash. So that's why it's just shoved back and these bits are just hanging down at the front. Um, but yeah, that's all we've got planned for today. And then later on, I think we're just chilling. I think that's it. Yeah, that's all. Um, a nice Saturday. I just need to get the bag packed. And make sure we've got everything for Jesse. What are you laughing at, Jimmy? What have you done? Nothing. You've done something. I don't know. Right, we're now home from town. And we've been to next. Obviously, <laughs> favourite place. Um, we got some new towels. Um, we're desperate for some because we've still got the towels up in that room, the new next towels that we bought last year, um, covering the window because we still haven't got a blind for that room. So we need to get that sorted. I'm going to say sorted in the new year, but a bit too late because it already is the new year, isn't it? Um, so I'll show you what towels we got. <laughs> Not that it's like that exciting. Just um, some nice towels. <laughs> bathroom is my worst room in the house <laughs> does anyone have that dreaded room where you're just like you put off cleaning it because you don't like it that's the bathroom for me um i would love to get it done but um it costs a lot of money to get a full new bathroom so that's not an option um i think it might be the gray um since changing our room to the nude beige colour I just want the whole house to be that colour and obviously we are changing the living room to that colour as well so I think um, instead of getting a full bathroom redone uh, which I'm definitely not doing you know just change the like decor in fact we've not even got any like decor up in there so maybe I just need to like get some nice neutral bits but this is the colour I went for in the towels it's called yeah. mink and I got the bath sheet so I think the ones we've had previously, just the bath towels. But these ones I think are bigger. I didn't want to open it up properly in the shop. Um, oh my god, these are huge. <gasps> Let's have a look. Oh, they're lovely. See, these go fully round me. Those are the ones, they barely go round me. Um, <laughs> just showing off my towel. Um, but yeah, I love these. 
really nice and I also got a hand towel to go with them so I bought two of those and the hand towel from next and that's all I picked up um I think so yeah I'm excited to use my new bath towel tonight um I think hopefully um we might be putting the things up in the loft because um it's through my head in having all the Christmas stuff down here now it's just really annoying me to be honest um I just want to get everything out of the way and I need to take this tree down, but that won't take me too long. Actually, do you know what I've not even done? I'm not even sure on the vlog this, actually. I don't even know where I've put it. I think I might have put it upstairs. I bought um, a Christmas tree bag. Yeah, you are right. I bought a Christmas tree bag for the living room tree um, to put that in. I think I've mentioned this, actually. I think I might have mentioned it the other day. So I need to put that in there and then that... Um, Christmas tree in the conservatory I just put in a bin bag last year so I think I might just do the same again this year but yeah I want to get the things up because then we can have the conservatory back to normal um I've not had the conservatory in this layout without the tree so I'm excited to have more room again um and yeah I just need to give a general good tidy over of the living room um so yeah I'm just gonna get Jessie sorted and then I'll come back to you is the Christmas tree bag that I bought from Christmas Tree World. This is where we bought the tree for the living room from. It's more than big enough. Uh, there's loads of room left in it as well. So very happy with that. I think that was about £12. So just going to start putting things up there now. I can't believe how much stuff we've got. Um, and I don't even know if it's going to all fit up there. <laughs> Look at the state of it. Oh, but everything's packed up in the conservatory. And I'm not going to lie. I'm glad to see it the backside of these Christmas decorations <laughs> I think now that it's just into the new year I'm just ready to have everything out of the way and um, give it a good clean in the conservatory get some more space back it doesn't look as cluttered which is good um, so yeah I still need to do my workout for today if you've watched the past few days or since the new year I've been uh, I've signed up to this like dance shred thing it's like a 15 minute dance workout every day but um, I think because I've gone from doing like not much ex well no exercise to this week going on walks nearly every day and doing 15 minutes of exercise every day my body's like what are you doing to me I think I just need to adjust and I'm feeling super tired but I'm going to push through it I'm going to do it today well tonight probably because um it's a bit later on now actually I don't even know what time it is I've no idea what time it is I also need to get in the shower um and I've just thought then whilst I was talking about the bath towels to you all <laughs> um I thought I would um maybe just get some ideas to put some things up in the wall in that room just to make me feel a little bit better about it um so maybe some like shelves with some like nice diffusers on and stuff hello you're waving again to mummy that's so nice hey jesse bless him he is so cute he's, he's always been cute but he is um just waving to everybody he's doing high fives aren't you blowing kisses oh thank you are you blowing kisses can you blow a kiss to the camera? Jesse? can you blow a kiss to the camera? No, you're just playing with your bath toys. Are you ready to get everything up, Jimmy? <sighs> I don't think he is, are you? You what? really don't want to do this. <laughs> but once it's done, it's out of way until November. I hate the wedding I know. Yeah, I know. Right, plus it's we've got... Ladders. Downstairs, I've brought them out. Like, we're going to get everything else because we've got about 50 million other bags to bring up. Finally, Jesse. It is all gone in here. Everything is up in the loft. Um, obviously, apart from these little bits that haven't really got anything in them. I think this is some of Jimmy's Christmas presents left over. But yeah, the Christmas tree is gone. The drawers have been emptied. And now this is what we're left with. So I need to give it a good tidy up. Obviously, we've got some white bits on the floor here. I'm going to push the table up a little bit. Um, just give it a hoover 
um, maybe a wipe over and things. And uh, yes, I feel so much better already that it's gone <laughs> and out of the way. I can't lie, I'm dreading getting them back out in November with the amount there was there. Um, I'm not sure why we've gone from like having a few bags to loads and loads of bags. Mum, mind you, I bought a full new Christmas tree this year, so that's probably why. <laughs> but yeah, gonna give it a quick tidy up in here. Then I need to do my, my dance workout. Um, and Jesse, I think, is getting tired. He's not really had much sleep today, so hopefully we can go for a seven o'clock bedtime. Um, if not, we'll just have to stay up and watch some TV. I've started Waterloo Road from the beginning. I've never watched it before. I'm actually really enjoying it. So it's just nice to have one in the background as well. So I've been watching that. Um, and yeah, let's tidy this conservatory up, give it a clean. And then, oh, I need to get a shower as well. <laughs> and then I need to do all, all my other jobs for the night. Jesse's in bed but um conservatory is like semi done well it's done but um just needs a good clean um, and I've quickly just thrown his toys away <laughs> but yeah no Christmas tree so weird we've got so much room either side of the dining table now um so yeah I'm happy that he's done and out of the way putting the Christmas decorations away is just one of those really annoying jobs that oh, I don't know it's just really annoying isn't it one of those jobs <laughs> Um, but Jesse is now in bed and um, we got him a bath um, and he settled really well actually. We have kind of cracked bedtime. Um, it seems to be when it's me and Jimmy putting him to bed, we lay down either side of him and um, he will settle straight away. Um, if it's one of us putting him to bed, he'll want to get up. I think it's because he knows that one of us is still up because we say like, oh night, bye and everything and maybe that's the reason why he gets up. Um, but yeah, we've been doing bedtime, both of us, and it's been working super well. So he's been in bed since 8 o'clock. It's now 20 to 9. Um, and Jimmy, <laughs> he came out and said, um, Liv, would you mind if I went and viewed a car right now? <laughs> what at this time? Um, and yeah, he's gone out to view a car with, for his friend. Um, I've told him to be careful. I don't. I'm not bothered about him doing stuff like that whatsoever. Um, more just the safety aspect of it. I was like, make sure it's not a setup that this guy's not setting you up and like wants to rob you or something like that. Um, so I've told him to just be careful. So he's just left. Um, but it's a good thing really because I can do my dance shred in peace now without Jimmy having to look at me and getting me being embarrassed because of how bad and how unfit I am at the minute. Um, so yeah, he's not going to be back until way later on because it's an hour away where he's going to view this car. Um, so, so I'm now going to do my dance shred. I've just got it set up on the laptop. I just do it here because I like to, even though it's, I embarrass myself and I laugh at myself when I do it, I like to look at myself in the mirror. Um, so yeah, this is it right here. Um, I'm still on the cha-cha-cha. And then next week it's salsa. So um, yeah, you do the same exercise for a week um, it's only 15 minutes worth of dancing and I much prefer it it's like really fun I actually look forward to doing it because um, I enjoy dancing so yeah I'm going to do that just fill my Starbucks cup up with some water and then I'm going to have my tea after that um, and then I'm going to probably sit down edit some videos and watch some Waterloo Road I think just wait until Jimmy gets home and um, I think I'm going to stay up for him as well because I usually stay up later and then him anyway so I'll probably still be awake when he gets back um, but I've got about three videos to edit so I need to sort that yeah I've also tidied all of Jesse's toys away in the living room again I say this all the time but it just needs a hoover but I'm not doing it because he's obviously asleep upstairs um, but yeah it's in desperate need of a hoover but I've um, the past few nights I have been tidying his toys up every single night um, something that I wouldn't usually do I just usually leave it out um, and tidy it you know procrastination I'd leave it and leave it and leave it but every night when he's been going up to bed I've just been coming straight back down putting his toys away even if it's like not 
neatly I just throw them in a basket um, and it just makes me feel a bit better and it's better for the next morning as well because um, I come downstairs and the house is not clean but you know it's tidy so yeah that's my plan of action right now I need to probably crack on because it's 20 to 9 um, and I'm going to be bouncing about everywhere in a minute doing this dance so yeah so yeah dance time now <laughs> probably need to change out of this dress then dinner then edit videos let's go I've been saying, I've been 